that specifically you are for, getting started on Elon Musk. <laughs> no, I, I, I think Elon. Okay, so no, 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 I've got to frame the question. Go on, go on. How do you feel about Elon Musk? I, I feel that he is a very bad representation of who people think about um, someone who's autistic. Um, no, I think that I'm not. I don't mind about him being autistic. I think that one of the issues is people have misrepresentation of what he's. They see the fact that oh, he's got Tesla and he owns X, or which used to be Twitter and all these things. But actually. It's not about that. It's to do with how much money he had. It's not about his autism and stuff. And actually, most of the ideas... So it's come bad from representation. Him. Yeah, because saying. I think a lot of ideas he has and things have all come from other people who work for him. And he is just the person in the company. But everyone sees him and think, oh, look, he's this amazing person. Is it safe so, to say he's he is quite a maverick? Possibly. He does things differently, doesn't he? And that's what a lot yeah. of autistic people do. That's okay. But it's not... But again, it's the fact that He's not doing a lot of it from from what I have. What at least what I have is a lot of the stuff he's got. He's probably got other people who are very autistic, who are very intelligent, who are very good, who are doing all the stuff, and he's taking credit for that. Okay. And that's what I have an issue okay. with, with Elon Musk. Well, how do you feel about Elon Musk? He's a very interesting character. Um, I didn't automatically engage with him as someone autistic when I first heard of him, when I first heard about him in relation to Tesla, as I remember. Um, he does definitely think differently. I worry that it seems more like a scattergun approach, though. It doesn't seem to be particularly in terms of a direction. It seems to be I mean, just trying on opportunities that come up. He's, he often seems like he's on a whim, doesn't he? Oh, it does. Yeah. It does. I mean, from what I understand, X got into an awful lot of financial trouble, for example, and he... He had to go through court proceedings in order to actually be made to buy X because he nearly backed out. X seems to be very messy, uh, but but it's not you know it's not just about X. It's about Tesla. It's about SpaceX. It could be really good for humanity, but it also seems like some of it is quite um, for a very specific group of people. I suppose I I don't okay. see myself yeah. inhabiting Mars. I don't see myself signing up to be a you know, a, a newcomer who's starting to populate a new planet. That's that's a very well, niche interest. It's like a vanity project in a way. It's like his own vanity. Maybe that's what yeah, I mean. That's how yeah. I see him as well. It's a lot of it is a vanity project. It's not about him trying to save the world. It's about him looking good. So, do you know, I, I rarely hear people use the word autism when they're referring to Elon Musk. Mm. Mm. Yeah, so mm. my, my concern is, <laughs> my concern used to be that this man is one of the most well-known people on the planet and he is known for being autistic and mm. he is... He acts quite noticeably different. Mm. He does things that can seem quite erratic mm. and problematic. Yeah, that could make people think all autistic people are like do that. things erratic. But yeah. I rarely, if ever, hear or in any of the readings I do on Elon Musk or any of the videos I watch on Elon Musk, and I've certainly done you know quite a lot of them mm. uh, because he's in the media a lot mm -hmm. and has been. I rarely hear them talk about the fact he's autistic in reference to any of his behaviour. It's more like this particular person has done or said this thing that's very problematic. Yeah. I don't know why I see them in the same light, but I find it very interesting how the media has managed the concept of Greta Thunberg versus the way that they've managed Elon Musk. As in, Greta Thunberg is always um, headlined as autistic... You know, but it's almost, it's almost seen as a, as a it's, she's often in a strength based form. Yeah. Her autism has led her to push this forward to, you know, it's definitely used as a strength based thing for Greta. Very true. It's because she but was very, very time. young, wasn't she? She was young. Like yeah. if you've got a young child. Before six, 16. Young autistic girl 16, sells yeah. and then it's kept, it's come, it's, come, it's like true. an identity point. Whereas Elon Musk, it was far later. He was already a billionaire. He was already a maverick. Yeah. So... Maybe. I mean, is anyone really surprised I mean, that he's autistic? When there's somebody... theory around mm. Steve Jobs. I, I don't know if that was ever confirmed or not, whether Steve Jobs was actually autistic. He was meant to be quite, meant yeah, to be di quite different in that, in that mindset. Yeah. But also, Steve Jobs had a bunch of problematic behaviours as well. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But they've been in that back history. There's quite a few people, if you look back in history, who potentially were yeah. very autistic. As I say, may maybe autism is just a working diagnosis at the moment. I, I'm Have always prepared you for that. Have you seen Geek Girl? I've not. I've heard of oh, it. It's really good. I've heard of it. Yeah. <laughs>